Like all families in the bush, Kylie Cook has made great sacrifices to get her four children educated. Rural families were advocating for more support in the face of the rising cost of boarding school. Advocates say it's a game changer for families they each went to boarding school in Townsville. A seven-hour drive from their home at the cattle station near Julia Creek in northwest Queensland. Even as a trained teacher, I didn't believe I could teach my kids the career paths they wanted in high school, Cook said. But that comes at a cost, she said. Financially, you're leaving without much. We had drought back then, and then floods in 2019 hit us. You're constantly fiddling with the numbers to see how you can do what's best for your kids. Kylie Cook is ecstatic after Queensland government's decision to increase distance learning allowance. The Queensland government announced on Tuesday it will increase the distance learning allowance by 4,000 from next year. The news was met with tears and standing ovation at the Association of Isolated Child Parents State Conference in Julia Creek. The program pays for boarding school for families in some of the state's most isolated communities. Education Minister Grace Grace said increasing the annual allowance would help students afford living away from home. Grace Grace said the government heard concerns about families' cost of living pressures. We know that the cost of living hurts many families, especially in regional and remote Queensland, she said. The pocket money for elementary school students goes from 4360 to 8360 For middle school, it will now be 10276 instead of the current 6276 The ICPA has long lobbied to increase the payout, which is currently accessed by around 1,400 Queensland students. He argued that the rising cost of boarding school means rural families are out of pocket at least 20,000 per student per year. The association's state president, Louise Martin, said she was surprised that the government had agreed to increase the allowance. It will give families real choices and alternatives, she said. Louise Martin says the tuition allowance increase will be a game changer for isolated families. Ms. Martin said rural communities are constantly losing families who feel they have no choice but to pack up and approach schools on the coast. Hopefully this means that some families can stay in their communities and send their kids if they don't have access to high school, he said. This means that some children may have access to boarding school where they never had the opportunity in the past. Ms. Cook said increase in the allowance would only partially pay for her children's education, but said she was ecstatic for extra help. It's actually a physical relief knowing you've had so little support, she said. The payment will continue to increase with the CPI every year.